Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will share the information about how you can create the new columns with the help of the dplyr package. So as you are aware I am posting up videos related to dplyr R package so that you can do the faster data manipulation and in this video I am covering one of the very very important topic because that's a regular requirement that we want to do some manipulation on existing fields and then create a new field based on our requirement of analysis. So before I move ahead just a quick information that if you want to get all of this information about my new load or video uploads then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and get all of this information directly in your inbox. All right, so for that, uh, creating a new column, we will go into the, first of all, import the library, which is dplyr. And after dplyr, you will going to use the function, which is mutate. But let me tell you about the data set, which I'm going to use. So with, that is basically empty cars, uh, inbuilt data set, which has the different variable values. And I'm using it in my previous video. So you must have got familiar by now, but it is just the different cars information about miles per gallon, cylinders, whether it is automatic manual, how many gear it has, well, and so forth. So very basic idea. Let's say we want to do a very simple arithmetic operations. We want to do, let's say multiplication uh, and we want to multiply gear by two. Just a very arbitrary requirement, not very much uh, realistic, but just to show you how you can do that. So for that, what you will going to do is you will write mutate and within the mutate, we will first specify the data set name and then you will going to specify the new variable name, which is let's say gear underscore multiply and then you will say gear multiply by two. Once you hit enter, you will get in the end the new variable which is gear underscore multiply and it is multiplying gear value by two so that's first thing let's say we want to perform the operations on the fields so empty cars let's say we want to subtract gear from the uh, cylinder so for that what we can write is maybe in the new variable name gear underscore cyl and we are saying cyl minus gear so here we have the value gear minus cyl 6 minus 4 2 6 minus 4 2 4 minus 4 0 so yeah everything is correct so just wanted to show you how easy it is and how fast it is uh, to perform the operation though it is a very small data set so everything is fast but if you are applying it on your very big data set then also you will observe that uh, comparatively if you are specifying it with the other base using the basic package or the ba base package of R this these operations are really really fast so this is about op specifying one operation if you want to create let's say more than one variable so for that also what you can do is you can write mutate and then the data set name and then you will write first value let's say uh, gear underscore 2 we are specifying uh, gear multiplied by 2 and then the second column let's say cyl underscore gear and what we are saying is cyl cyl minus gear once I hit enter I have all both the values or both the variables over here so that's how you can see how easy it is to create the value the variables the new variables which is part of now your data set and then you can show it in your analysis whenever you need it so that's mainly i wanted to show you about mutate if you want to know more information about it you can put question mark and see click mute or write mutate it will show you all the information and all the different parameters which probably have not covered into the help box so i suggest that you do that and get the good idea about it